Welcome back, everybody. I did finally get um, all of, well, two more. Oh, it's going to be loud. Two more bins um, of jewelry gone through with my friend Ernest in Detroit. Um, we got two more bins we went through. And um, here is all kinds of beautiful rhinestones and brooches, necklaces, earrings, and everything. And I am not sure what all we are going to be able to get through in this video, but uh, I'm going to do my best. It is going to be in at least two videos here. Um, I, I cleaned and went through everything as much as possible. So, um, and this is pretty much everything that we went through or I went through so far today. I still have some more that I need to clean and go through, but uh, we're gonna see what we can do. So um, if you have not tuned into my channel, uh, please go ahead and hit subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. It would mean the world to me. Um, all of the jewelry that you will see is for sale. I am going to give you prices as we go through. So definitely um, do me a favor and I'm going to sh show a little um, little thing in the screen here that you can take a screenshot of. This will explain how you can purchase from me. So hold on one second and here we go and you can screenshot this right now. Okay, now that we've got all that in out of the way, um, so we have a lot of different jewelry and um, I'm gonna go ahead and give you prices and uh, don't forget, I do have channel memberships available. So if you do think that you might wanna shop with me often, um, you can definitely subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can just hit that join button on my channel, like overview or whatever, hit join. There's a couple different levels for channel memberships and two of the levels will give you discounts on purchases, either through videos or through live sales. And um, those can help you save some money. So um, no pressure or anything like that, but it is something that could save you a little bit of money if you think that you like the stuff that I bring on and all of that fun stuff. So anyway, um, we will go ahead and start with some of this gorgeous vintage jewelry. Um, there is some really, really pretty stuff here. It is A lot of it is um, similar to what I had the last time, but there's a lot of really um, different pieces, some pieces that are a lot older too. So, um, if you like some of these older pieces, like, um, this one here, this one is, um, really, really, really gorgeous. Um, and don't mind my nails. I got my nails redone and this one already chipped. And so I, I tried to reach the girl who did them and she just hasn't called me back yet. But anyway, um, this is gorgeous. This is a filigree brooch that is um, really pretty. It's it's also a pendant. It's a brooch and a pendant. So you could put this on a chain if you wanted to, or try to get my phone to go ahead and get that, I guess, uh, clear or whatever clear anyway um but that is a beautiful red glass faceted glass in crystal with the filigree it's so pretty it's a little pearl on the bottom and uh definitely older um and definitely older piece really really pretty uh and the brooch i think if you wore it as a brooch you'd almost want to wear it like that because otherwise it might flip on you but if you wore it as a pendant, you'd kind of want to wear it like that because the pendant part is right there. Either way, it's really, really gorgeous. Um, so yeah, so this one, I'm gonna say um, 25 for this piece. This is just really, really beautiful. So 25 on this red filigree brooch. All right, so next we have this gorgeous like ribbon 
and it's a copper and gold tone kind of ribbon bow brooch. And that is the back of it. It's very like 1930s or 1940s. It's really, really pretty. Um, so this brooch here, we're gonna say um, 15 for this one. This one's really pretty. Um, this brooch here, also really pretty. This is gold tone with pink, uh, or blue flowers with pink centers. It's really, really pretty. Oh, Angel's making some noise back there. Uh, this is the back here. You can tell I just washed all of these. Uh, this is the back. And that is the front. This is so pretty. And uh, we're going to say... Uh, we're gonna say 18 on this one. This is just, look at how dimensional this one is. It's so cool. So 18 on this one, just really gorgeous. Okay, next one. Some of these earrings, we just gotta match up. So um, this one here, I believe is sterling. So let's just double check. It is marked on the back. is wow this is an art so arthur pepper sterling oh, and here is my my loop is out of juice but here we go so there is, it says art in the star. So I'm assuming it's an Arthur Pepper. Um, and it is sterling. Look at those beautiful, beautiful stones in the sterling. I'm gonna just double check that those stones are not any type of yeah those stones are def are glass i just wanted to double check that but um those but that is sterling so that is really really gorgeous so this brooch um in sterling and we are going to say for this particular piece uh, let's say, let's say 25 for this one, for the Arthur Pepper Sterling piece. That's really gorgeous. And look at this one, that kind of, um, yellowish green. I don't remember what color you call that, but, and then that really cool amethyst color. Uh, and then that center stone is that like light, like, Lavender, it's really pretty. And then this is the back, super pretty. All riveted. And then these stones are all prong set. And uh, let's say uh, 18 on this piece. This is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous flower with the topaz center. All those petals are just fanned out, really nice and dimensional. And then look at the kind of texturized, like look to that gold, gold tone. Really, really pretty. And any signature on that? No signature on this one. Um, we're gonna say 12 on this piece. That's a cool piece. This is a wild pair of earrings. Check that out. These are just really oversized. Um, these, uh, these remind me of like a Miriam Haskell type of earring. These are not signed, but just like this whole back, that's very Miriam Haskell-ish. Um, 
the way they're all layered and with the pearls and everything, it's very much in that style. Um, but they are not Miriam Haskell. This is a newer kind of a lookalike uh, style of, but they are made, I think they're made to look like a Miriam Haskell, to be honest. And um, I'm going to say, um, we're going to say, uh, we're going to say 18 on these earrings, the Miriam Haskell lookalike earrings. So 18 on these, look how pretty those are. That like really pretty kind of soft pink pearl. I just love these. I think those are fun. This would be so much fun to wear. I know I would, per this is my style of earring. I would wear these in a heartbeat. I'd rock these at Costco, personally. If you were at my last live, you'd, you'd get that one. <laughs> I was talking about how I'd wear those like big, huge waterfall earrings to Costco. Okay, so this brooch is fun, but th this is, okay, this brooch is fun. This brooch is plastic, but I love it. I think it's fun. It's it's unique. It's cool. Um, I'm pretty sure those are, all, the rhinestones are, I think the rhinestones are plastic too, but these are all plastic here. It's just a cool brooch. I mean, that's metal, but these are plastic, but these are all riveted. I don't know, it's just cool. So I'm gonna say $8 on this. It's just a cool brooch. It's really, really nice. Hold on. Okay, the, the stones are glass. I just knocked them on the, here. The stones are glass, you can hear it. The stones are glass, but all the rest of it is plastic. It's cool. That is a cool brooch. I'm sorry, I just think that is really, really cool. But $8 on that one, I just love that. All right, next. Look at that, look at that AB. That is a beautiful AB little flower, starburst flower, blue AB. And that is the back and that is kind of a gold tone and it is just simply stunning. It is like a really deep indigo kind of AB stone. I love that, look at that. Stunning, stunning, stunning. Anything AB though, you know that is just my jam. I love it, um, kind of like a starburst flower, we'll call it, and um, no signature on this, but we're gonna say $12 on this one. I love that. Fix that one. All right. This one right here, really, really gorgeous piece. It is a citrine stone and it has a little pendant loop back here and is it this one let me see is this one signed not signed oh nope it is signed this is a coro this is a really pretty little coro So that is a very, very pretty Coro filigree and um, citrine rhinestone brooch. And that is um, very, very subtly signed. Let me see if I can grab, let me see if this one has any juice. Yep, it does. Um, so this has signed right back there, Coro. It's upside down, but Coro. So that one says Coro. So um, so we're gonna say 15 on this little Coro brooch right here. So that is so pretty. And it's a nice little Coro piece. All right, next is we have a little baby lingerie pin. 
and um, we're gonna say three dollars on the lingerie pin. I love lingerie pins. I love them. Um, we have a, this is a really pretty little ring. This is, uh, it's got like a little uh, adjustable kind of thing on the inside that can kind of make it, I guess, a little bit smaller if you have a smaller finger. It's not really a, like it won't, um, it won't pull out or in. Uh, is this an Avon? It is an Avon ring. It is an Avon ring. It has like a topaz stone in there. And where is my ring sizer? And it is as is, it is measuring um, as an eight. Well, it at the largest, it'll go to like an eight and three quarters, but I mean, the, this finger here is like a size seven. And I think because it's got that little, this little thing on the inside, I forget, I don't know what that's called, but that'll kind of make it a little smaller for you. So the Avon ring, we're gonna say um, $12 on the Avon ring. Okay, so here is another really pretty brooch. I would say this is potentially um, maybe Austrian crystal. Um, I don't think it's Czech. I think this is Austrian and um, very pretty. It's got the kind of the yellow and the topaz color and very pretty brooch. And we're going to say, um, I don't know, let's see. It's got a little bit of, con it's got a little scratching to it. We're going to say, um, we'll say $12 on this one. It has just a little bit on some of these stones. It just looks a little scratched on the tops of the stones. So we're going to say $12 on that brooch. Um... Okay, we have another absolutely stunning bracelet. Check this one out. So if you remember in the last video or one of the last videos, I don't remember which one, but I had a really cool like twisted um, rhinestone bracelet and that one did sell. And this was a same t kind of twisted rhinestone bracelet, but this is in an, in an amethyst a b and you don't see amethyst a b very often like this is literally an absolutely beautiful color of a b crystal like i never see amethyst a b but this is an amethyst a b crystal and um i'm gonna say 30 uh we're gonna say 30 35 on the amethyst ab i just never see this color so um 35 on the amethyst ab bracelet and let's get a measurement on it so we all know what size it is because it is a stunner this is an absolute stunning piece so it's about six and a half inches long. So this is about six and a half inches long, and this is absolutely stunning. 35 on the Amethyst AB bracelet. But oh my God, I never, I've never seen this deep, gorgeous color in a bracelet before and I want to see it. I, I want more of it. Look at that. That's just amazing. 
That is amazing. So 35 on that bracelet. It's just to die for. Um, okay, these earrings I thought were just like truly so much fun. And I've got to unscrew them. These are screw backs. And they are just like so fun and amazing. They are donkeys. And I gotta unscrew them both. I gotta make it make them kind of come apart. And I have never, I've literally never seen donkey earrings. Look at these. They're donkey earrings. Like how fun are these? These do have a name on them. Elite. O L E E. T, Olete earrings. I've never heard of Olete. So I do not know what I am going to ask on these yet. So if you are interested in the donkey earrings, please let me know. Um, I will give you a price on them or I'll put a price on them. Under, I'll put a price on them. I'll like put it in writing underneath here. I'll look them up. Those are so freaking cute. I love them. So Olete, O-L-E-E-T, Olete. Um, check this ring out. Look at that like cabochon. That is all carved and an A-B cabochon and it's surrounded by pearls and there is some wear on the band. It is an adjustable band. And uh, is this a, is this somebody? This might have been somebody. I don't know. I don't see a maker on this. It could be just a made in Czechoslovakia. Um, it's got like the, a lot of the Czech rings will have this kind of like um almost like brutalist looking uh kind of gold tone texture around the edge oops sorry um but this is really really cool and i am not seeing anything but it is very kind of malformed so probably have to play with it. You can even almost like have this soldered onto a different ring, but check that out. How amazing is this ring? I love it. You definitely would need to put this on a, um, I don't know. You just have to, I don't know, definitely take care of it. I am not going to play with it too much because these bands can go bad and get weak after a while, but just, I would almost put it on a different band. That's what I would probably do. I love that. So I am going to say on this ring, I'm going to say 35 on this ring because that stone is literally you can't find that stone just anywhere. Amazing, 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 amazing ring. So 35 on that ring. Okay, next piece. This is a really pretty smoky gray rhinestone and it's got really pretty like, these are all little rhinestone separators almost. And is this marked? Seems like it should be, but it is not. Definitely, uh, I want to say maybe Austrian. It almost looks like an unmarked Weiss. Um, and I'm going to say uh, 15 on this piece right here. It's pretty, very pretty. So 15 on this piece, this little wreath. Um, got a couple of earrings here we need to find mates for. All right, this is a pretty little topaz piece. A marks on the back, not that I see. All right, 
So this little topaz um, flower sprig, I guess we can call it. Um, I'm gonna say, I'm just grabbing a sip of my coffee here. Um, this is check glass, I think. These are fast, barely faceted, which is why I'm seeing it's probably check. Um, and these are all riveted. These are all in there nicely, you know, prong set. I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say $10 on this piece. This one's a cool piece here. We've got um, kind of like rhinestones in a cage almost. And that real light, like topaz blue with a real light, like green color. And that is the back. They're all open back um, bead or open black back crystals or glass. Uh, and let me just double check, make sure I'm not missing a signature on this at all. No, it does not look like this is signed. Um, really pretty. Uh, I am going to say, I'm going to say 18 on this piece. It's very unique. Um, but it's, it's really unique, but I don't think it's, um, these aren't, this is faceted glass. I don't think that's crystal. So I'm going to say 18 on that. All right, next. Really pretty AB cluster brooch. That is the back of it. And we're going to say uh, 12 on that one. Next. This is a cool necklace. Um, and let me grab my little neck. You can see it a little better on the neck. Uh, this is just really different. Another almost like Miriam Haskell wannabe necklace because it's got this little filigree behind it. A beautiful AB stone right here. I love the green and the citrine. Just a really cool, cool, cool necklace. And then it's on this like rope of rhinestones, but that focal is just so unique, so different on that filigree. Love, love, love that look. Um, it, it really is, I feel like it's really, really, really trying to look like a Miriam Haskell piece, but it's not signed. And just the vibe that I'm getting, unless this is like, somehow never never seen the light of day and like or oxygen I just don't think that this is a Miriam Haskell piece it's it's just it just looks way too new so I just don't think it is and yeah I just don't think so Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. But I'm going to say, um, this is so unique. I'm going to say 35 on this necklace. It's just so cool. Um, and the necklace is, uh, let me get you a me measurement on the necklace. So we're going to say the necklace has... Uh, Oops, if I measure it from the right end. So 14 inches on the necklace. So you could always get a um, 
something to make it longer, like in some kind of extender, but 14 inches on the necklace. Um, here's a really adorable little baby flower brooch, and we're going to say $5 on this. Super cute. Here's another little lingerie pin, and uh, we're going to say $5 on this one, too. It's a really nice little one. So this one is interesting and I couldn't read it earlier. So let's see if my loop will light up and let me read it. But check this out. It is a bowling pin and a bowling ball and it is a signed brooch that says, oh, I'll, uh, I'll get back to you on this one and what the price will be. This I think is adorable. So, super cute. Here is a pair of earrings. Um, a great little emerald flower earrings. And unsigned emerald flower earrings. And we are going to say $10 on the emerald flower earrings. Super pretty earrings. Um, this is a absolutely gorgeous brooch right here. Love, love, love this piece. I love how large these pink stones are right here. I love those. This stone right here to me looks like it's a little like going bad, but the rest of them all look perfect. And then this is the back. And then it does have, I think it said Austria. Yeah, it says Austria with the crown. And I know that means something. And um, I will put that back in the comments here. Or I'll put this in, the, in a text description once I remember. I know that means something with the crown and it's slipping my mind. Um, but I'm going to say uh, 28 for this brooch right here. Those, these are massive, faceted beautifully, and the clarity and the fire that's coming off of those fuchsia stones is literally, it's just amazing. Um, I feel like we're not getting through very many here. Um, what should we do next? This is another necklace. Um, this I thought was super cool. This one could definitely be considered um, just as mu much of a modern necklace as a, uh, as a vintage one. So this is not a marked necklace, uh, but I feel like this could almost be like an unsigned Hobie. Um, it's got this like a cool mesh design, which I know Hobie did a lot of. And then it's got this beautiful like line of rhinestones. It's, this is a, a timeless piece. I don't know. I would say this is probably 1960s. Um, it could be 1970s, but I would bet 1960s just based on the the clasp, which I'll show you here in a second. But check out this mesh and then the line of rhinestones. It's just like the detail is just really, really nice. And then the clasp. Well, and then we get to this chain, which this chain, the detail on the chain is really, really nice too. And then we're moving to the clasp and then the, the end of the chain, which has this beautiful rhinestone. So the clasp is not marked, which is surprising. And then 
the chain and the this does not have, a lot of times it would have like a little imprint or something, but there's nothing on this necklace. But I know that like Hobie had a lot of pieces that were never signed. And then of course, like I don't ever get very upset about pieces that are not signed because a lot of times you can find the same piece or a similar piece um, by a maker that is signed. Um, sometimes it's in a different colorway. Sometimes it's reversed. Sometimes it's just, you know, there's just different versions. But yeah, that one is just so detailed. So here's another pair of earrings. These are blue. Uh, this could go with like any of the necklaces that I had in my last few videos. This one is another one. It's really, really pretty. Um, really pretty AB stones. And this is the back. It has, has that same filigree look. And then that's the front again. And we're going to say um, 15 on these earrings. These really pretty blue earrings. So 15 on these. All right. Uh, I'm just going to go through a couple more. And, uh, and then we'll probably call this video uh, for the day and then I will put together another one for tomorrow. We may end up going into three videos for this haul. I'm not sure yet. I want to kind of keep them a little bit shorter than the last ones, but we'll see. Um, this one is absolutely beautiful. This one has really pretty AB stones, that denim -y kind of blue some AB or the AB Nevets, and then check out these. These are like a carved matte clear stone, and those are this is just gorgeous. And I'm gonna say 24 on this piece, we're gonna say 24 on this one. This one is just so pretty. So 24 on this one. Just, I mean, those are so pretty. 24 on that one. Um, and then this one here kind of reminds me of a, another one of those like Beaujoules or possibly a Judy Lee, some smaller. And we're gonna say 12 on this one. Really pretty stones in that. And uh, yeah. This one here, um, fairly certain this is a Juliana. I found one almost identical to this with the same exact stones. The, the, the stem was just a little bit different on the bottom. So, um, so this is a Juliana. And this one right here is going to be 22 for this Juliana leaf with the opaque orange cabochons. So cute. And I love this color. Love this color. It's a great color. Um, and we'll do this one. Love this one. So check out this red. Isn't that gorgeous? Bright red, garnet red with the um, AB stones. So we've got AB stone in the center, two rounds of just the garnet cabs, and then a round of AB stones, and then the round of gar garnet or garnet uh, crystals, sorry. And then that is the back. It's stunning. It is not signed, most likely Austrian. It is old. This is an old brooch. All of this is faceted, or all of this is riveted, and then um, all of this is um, prong set. And I am going to say 28 on this one. This one is absolutely stunning. So 28 on this one. 
All right, I think I'm gonna call it for this video. I don't wanna get people overwhelmed or anything like that. So let's call it for this video. There is still so much. Let me just show you. This is still the pile. And then I still have more that I need to clean and sort from this trip. And there's still, uh, I think there's still six more bins for me to go through. So yeah, we still have a lot of jewelry. Um, so yes. So please let me know if you are interested in anything, please go ahead and email me or text me and uh, let me know what pieces you are interested in. And I'm more than happy to get uh, that together for you. I do um, invoice via PayPal. Um, if that does not work for you, please just let me know. I am more than willing to work out whatever works best for you. Um, <clears throat> And uh, I did have somebody ask me if I could do a payment plan. I can within reason. So just message me if that is something that you are interested in. Um, and yeah, just let me know what you are uh, what you are interested in doing. I'm more than happy to work with you. I'm pretty laid back. Uh, so please let me know. I am uh, looking forward to putting the next the next video together and uh, we'll keep this rolling. So thanks everybody for joining me and uh, I will um, look for, I will put the next one together and we'll get that posted as soon as I can. Thanks everybody, bye.